This is where we're getting married! Woo! Hi, my name is Natalie Montero and I am 25 years old and I live in Norwalk, California and I'm a stay-at-home mom. Hi, my name is Rolando Espinoza. I'm 26 years old. I live in Norwalk, California and I'm a paraeducator for special ed and a music instructor. on August the 4th, 2012. Oh, are you done? Oh. <laughs> no. I on Natalie since I was two, and I finally made her mine last year when I proposed with an up theme. It kind of was the best way to represent our past, present, and future. We feel that the ceremony is a, a good representation of like our childhood um, experience, just growing up, uh, seeing each other grow together, and then finally uh, coming together in a relationship in our later lives. This is Dahlia. She's almost two years old, and she's our pride and joy and we really want her to be involved on our wedding so she is our bubble girl yay hi Dahlia say hi say hi say bye say something un besito 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 besito, besito, besito. besito. yay all right this is the entrance where the people will be walking in um i was thinking of having a table right here with the guest's name uh, pretty much is blocking the area so they don't go that way because I'm planning to have the buffet tables around over there. We're planning to have three tables here, I don't know if they'll fit, and five tables over there. Um, I can only have a max of 12 tables and the sweetheart table would be a pretty big table so I don't know how we're gonna accommodate all that. I mean I love the place but sadly it's, it's a little small for what I was considering. As you can see, there is um, kind of like a section for this place. Um, we were considering of sectioning that half off and just having that as a dance floor. So that would mean only four tables would be inside. Um, it would be like these four tables and then the DJ and the dance floor over there. All right, we were considering of having the buffet tables here and pretty much just walk around and then the guests would go in through these two double French doors. Um, sadly, there's not that much space. It's gonna be kind of hot on that day, so that's a concern about the sun and the food not getting ruined and whatnot, but I don't know what other options to do. <laughs> so <laughs> let's go inside. This is the kitchen and here we've decided to have a bartender and we'll be serving drinks to everyone. And Having a good time. There's a gazebo. And this is the entrance and exit guests will be taking, which you have to pass right by a swimming pool, which isn't the most romantic thing. So, yeah. Oh, you want to go to the skate park? And then <laughs> down this way, if you can hear that noise, is a skate park where there's an abundance of adolescents swearing <laughs> up a storm. You can hear their skateboards grinding, breaking. And testosterone. testosterone. <laughs> it doesn't smell good. Doesn't. There you go. Which happens to be connected to a public park. So it's gonna be all kinds of noise that day, which is not an ideal situation for a wedding. My name is Melissa Montero. I'm 19 years old. I'm Natalie's little sister, and I'll be her maid of honor. Hi, I'm Brenda, and I'm 18 years old. Hi, I'm Karen, and I'm 16 years old. There are two out of the seven bridesmaids. So far, I don't like the color very much. Mine is kind of magenta. It's like fuchsia magenta, and it's a little short on me, and my breast area is kind of awkward because I don't have a lot, so it kind of goes down, so I have to pick it up like every minute. Yeah, the, the dress really only has one strap, so my boobs kind of go lopsided, which isn't really sexy. And I'm really white. It's a beautiful color, but not on me. 
My main concern is the color might be a little bit too vibrant and also that I feel uncomfortable wearing it because it's one shoulder. The ceremony area might be very windy and on some people such as Brenda, um, it might fit too short so it might like actually expose some things that we do not want to see at a wedding. Hola, soy la mamá de Rolando, el novio. Hi, I'm the mother of the groom. Eh, mi esposo y yo no estamos de acuerdo con mi hijo y su novia. Um, my husband and I are in agreement with my son and her, his future wife. Porque han escogido un amigo para que los case. Because they've chosen a friend to wed them. La verdad, él no es un pastor, no es un reverendo. The truth is, he's not a pastor or a reverend. Él no es un abogado ni alguien de que esté autorizado por la ley para casar. He's not a lawyer or anyone certified by the law to do so. Yo no sé si eso se puede hacer. Nosotros somos unas personas uh, religiosas, somos católicos. I don't know if that's allowed here in the U.S. We are of a religious Catholic family. Entonces ese es el, el, el problema que tenemos con ellos. And that's the problem we're having with them. Esperamos encontrar una solución para que todos estemos bien. We're looking for a solution so that everyone will be okay with it. Well, this is my ceremony and reception decor. Um, these were my invitations right here. Um, so I kind of had, I wanted to merge the up theme and the Indian rock and theme in there. So these are pictures that we took us. So we took pictures with balloons just to have a little bit more of the up feel. Um, I really love the seal. And pretty much the reason why we have the up theme is because Rolando proposed to me that way. He gave me this little house and there was a bunch of balloons and under it, it said keep looking inside a box. And once I kept on looking, I found this jewelry box and inside was the ring. And he had custom made the, um, the music sheet to actually play the up theme song. And I'll have all my guests have personalized pinwheels. Um, they'll all say Natalie and Rolando's wedding and the date. And these are the pinwheels that my bridesmaids are going to have, this one and this one, and they're all going to have their own set of colors. And the groomsmen will have mini pinwheels as button ears, and then I'll just put a little flower there and I'll just have it there. And these are the centerpieces for the reception. Um, each table will have a different um, Moroccan lantern, uh, as well as adorned with either these and these, and they're all going to have uh, LED lights. Uh, near the gazebo, we're going to plant these, and they're all solar, so they'll illuminate the night. Um, we're also planning to have these Chinese lanterns, and we're going to find a way to stick LED lights in them, and then have them illuminate the area as well, since most of our guests are going to be outside. Um, we're going to have these as table numbers. Basically, we had a photo shoot and she has, my sister made numbers for them. So we're pretty much going to have them in there. And each one is going to have their own table number with our pictures in it. And these are going to be strictly for the bridal party. So these are for the guest um, tables and this is for the bridal party tables. Um, these are going to be the party favors, and we're going to have little Hershey Kisses inside with stickers of our names in it. And each guest will have uh, little bubbles that say, Blow wishes to the happy couple on their first dance. Since I, my dream was to actually have a bubble smog machine, um, the location does not allow that, so I decided to have bubbles for each person. And also here is where we're going to blow up one of the pictures. We're actually going to have two of these. We're going to blow them up and this is going to be our guest book with um, uh, a Sharpie pin as well. Um, one thing I forgot to mention for the ceremony is um, my flower girls, which is my daughter and um, 
one of my fiance's cousins will have bubbles instead of flowers since it's so windy we can't have flowers going everywhere so they're gonna have bubbles I love it but it's just the sound I have to find a way to get rid of the sound but I like the bubbles on it so. and that's pretty much what I have set up so far so. I'm hoping somewhere you guys can help me with this because I really wanted to incorporate at least our childhood somewhere in the ceremony and also incorporate the up theme because that's how he proposed to me and how am I taking this wedding as relaxed as possible because I do have a two-year-old and I do have responsibilities and the wedding is just something that's going to be on top of it and I want to I've tried to at least handle everything as much as I can but in all that that's why I made things much easier for me and discarded the past present and future even though I really want to go back to that